Everybody, welcome back uh, for another story time. Uh, so this story time is actually one of my mom's um, paranormal experiences in the pool house. This was before um, my parents divorced or separated. Um, so this day it was just on a weekday I remember and like so we had to go to sleep early to get up early for school the next day. So I remember my mom telling us, oh, go to sleep. If you guys need to eat something, eat before you go to sleep, drink some water, whatever. So you guys don't get up at night. Because she knew we didn't like getting up at night, you know, to even get water from the kitchen. Well, I didn't like it. My sister didn't really care. She'd just go anyways. But, so this day, I remember... We went to sleep, it was around 10, and the way my mom's room was, well, it was the room where the the lady passed away with the baby, and we were in the room where the guy hung himself, so the master bedroom. It's like diagonal from her room, kind of in front, but diagonal to it, and right next to that is like my what was my brother's room, so then... Like, she would be able to hear if we got up at night, you know, because the floors, they creaked. It was, it's an old freaking house, so, like, you can hear if we got up, pass by her bed, because she would always leave her bedroom door open, even ours when she was there, because we were just scared, you know. I, I know she was, too. So, I remember this day, well, this night, like, I think it was... 20 minutes in, after we passed out, we went to sleep. My mom, too. And then she said all of a sudden she started hearing, like, mumbling sounds. Like, you know, she couldn't really make out words, but she heard them in the kitchen. And she was like, I don't think the girls got up. Like, you know, I would hear them if they walked past. But she, like, thought it was us. Like, she didn't think anything of it. She was just like, maybe they just forgot the water or, or something. So, like, she kind of ignored it because she's like, maybe they're, they're just going to come back. But then she just started hearing, like, pots and pans, cupboards, giggling noises. Like, she's like, what the heck? Like, why are they up making noise, like, giggling at this time? Like, you know, even though it was, like, 20 minutes in after we fell asleep. Um, she said that she got angry. She was like, she got mad and she was just like, Nancy, Dina, like, go to sleep. I sent you to sleep and you're not sleeping. Like, what the heck, you know? That that she yelled at us, like, mad, like, you know, sending us back to sleep. And she said that I answered. She said she heard my voice and that I said, Mom, we just came to get water. Like, like it spoke to her. And she was just like, okay, well, then hurry up and go to sleep. Okay. She said that she was like comfortable that I answered that okay well it's I know it's them she says she dozed off again she went back to sleep and but she never heard us pass you know back to our room because she's just like whatever and then again a couple of minutes passed by and she heard the same thing but this time she says she yelled at us, you know, and that we didn't answer at all. So she got mad and she got up, like, ready to smack someone. And she got up and, like, walked to the kitchen. She said it was pitch black. It was dark. There was no one in the kitchen. And, like, all the pots and pans and the cupboards closing and the giggling stopped. And she was just like, what the hell? Like, I swear to, like, swear, like they were here like she i heard her talking like nancy was talking with dina and they were just like giggling and stuff she's like maybe they're like snuck i don't know past me like she couldn't like you couldn't really sneak around my mom through the hallway it was just like she would be able to see us like there was no possible way to do that so she went back she's like maybe they're just playing a trick on me so she like walked back to the room Assuming it was us anyways, you know, and she turned on the light 
and like she didn't yell at us but she just like she was about to thinking like we were just sitting there like ha 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 like laughing but then she realized we were like dead asleep she was just like what the hell like okay so she said she said that she went back to sleep she was already scared she was like okay this is just weird she said she didn't yell at us or anything so the next morning i remember my mom walked into our room like to wake us up and then she was like hey can i ask you guys a question she goes but i want you to be honest with me like you know like be truthful and i was just like we were just like okay like what like what's wrong you know she goes were you guys in the like after i sent you guys to sleep did you guys go to the kitchen and like um you know get something to eat or like did you were you guys there messing around and we were just like no like after you sent us to sleep like we were asleep like we never got up not even to go to the restroom like not once we were asleep she goes you're lying to me she goes you answered me i yelled at you to get your ass to your room and you answered and i was like mom i don't ever remember talking to you after i fell asleep and i just remember she went cold in her and like she didn't go cold she was just like her face turned like pale white she's already white as hell but like she went like you can just tell like her skin like her color was just drained out of her body she was just like don't tell that like don't tell me that like you're lying and i'm just like mom like i don't want to scare you but it wasn't me she goes whatever the fuck is in the house like talk to me it answered to me and i was just like well i'm like what do you want me to say like i feel scared too like that you're telling me this but it wasn't us so it was just like that was her experience and she says after that it was just she would hear the same thing but she would just ignore it she wouldn't even she knew it wasn't us anymore so she would just wouldn't yell at her she would just completely ignore it and yeah so that was her paranormal experience that one time but my mom had something attached to her for many many years um, they told us it was, like, this hippie type of guy. He was bald. He kind of looked um, hippie-ish, cholo type, skinny, slender, tall, like, bald. Like, that he was attached to my mom, that he was in love with my mom. He had, like, this obsession with her. So everywhere she would go, like, it, no matter what house we moved to, it would always be with her all the time. And so we were told that that person entity whatever it was like didn't want my parents together so he's the one that caused most of the problems the bad energies around them that's the reason why they split up because my grandma she had a friend in um she had a friend in mexico who was like like you can say a medium psychic type of person and I remember like after my parents split up I remember my grandma told me that she called the lady and they like they haven't spoken in years she just knew her number she just never spoken to her in years but since she knew like like maybe she can get some answers to why they split up like what was the like root problem to everything so I guess my grandma told me that um, that she called her and then the lady was like, oh, Maria, like I was waiting for your phone call for the past three days. And my grandma was like, what the hell? Like I haven't talked to you in years. How the hell do you, like I didn't tell anybody was going to call you. She would no, but I, I sensed you wanting to call me and I was expecting your phone call. She goes, and you're calling me to talk to me about your son's separation with his wife. My grandma was just like, she already believed in that, but she was more like surprised, you know? So she said that, she that's what she told her about that. She goes, well, now that that hippie looking guy um, has done his job by separating them, he's no longer with her. Like he left, he's in peace now that he separated my parents. And he goes, that entity 
followed her ever since um this is another house this is the house that i grew up in and um i was a baby in and i had i have more paranormal experiences in that house that i will be telling in the future in my other videos but we're gonna call this the rat house because there was a bunch of rats there because we're, it's like in a cornfield there's a bunch of rats and mice and shit like that but yes so ever since that rat house which was like fucking not even close to corcoran it's like maybe 35 minutes away she goes ever since that house that entity attached to her and finally he has left her because he finally did what he wanted he wanted them to be separated he didn't want them to be together so my grandma was like what the hell like that's crazy yes and my mom always told me when i told her this because you know at this time they were not when my grandma called they were not together anymore she was no longer in the house i i saw my mom a couple of weeks after and i told her hey you know i didn't tell her what the lady told me i was just like hey when you were in the house or like in any other house that we lived in like did you ever feel anything and she goes honestly she goes i always felt something like follow me everywhere i went she goes i've always felt like someone just on me everywhere i would go if i was taking a shower if i was changing i just felt something just like there with me all the time constantly she goes i wasn't scared of it i just felt like he was that he didn't well she didn't say he like it was just there with me all the time she goes i didn't feel scared of it because i didn't feel like it was harmful i just felt like something heavy she goes and after i left her dad she goes i stopped feeling that like i feel peaceful and then that's when i told my mom and she kind of freaked out she goes are you serious she goes no wonder she goes sometimes i would see like all of us like a, a, a slender long shadow mm. so yeah oh my god i just got a phone call and that scared the shit out of me oh my god my heart is pounding <laughs> okay so yeah that was my mom's experience i will be having more because i'm going to talk to her and asking her more questions and see what i can get out of her you know just to freshen up my memory and then i will be getting back to you guys with more paranormal experiences from her and from me from my sister my brother and maybe even my dad i don't know he would just be like, I, there was nothing there. And, but I'm pretty sure he knew that there's stuff there. He would just, he's just a strong guy. But anyways, thank you for watching. Um, subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions or would like to know anything in more detail, let me know in the comments down below. And I will gladly... I'm deep in love, 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 I'm de